Hello, you guys. Good evening. It is, I was going to say good afternoon, but it's evening. Good evening. I'm sitting in my little unfinished office slash garage. Oh my gosh. It's pretty chaotic in here. Like, I'm not going to lie. Okay. I've got this positioned. I've got my old couch in here. It's just kind of crazy. But, um, if I showed you anything behind, you would be appalled. <laughs> it is not finished in here. But anyways, I just got off a training with one of my very dear friends in our business. And I'm just like so fired up. It's been a really good day. So I thought I would come on here and just like, t I'm, I feel it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, I got to put this on do not disturb because my little ADD is going to go all over the place. Um, but as you guys are getting on, say, hey, we're going to hang out, grab your water, grab your drink, whatever you need. Tell me how your day is going. But I'm going to just share some things with you because I have a lot of people that have enrolled, a lot of people that have questions, their thought, like whatever. And I just want to answer some of them, tell you guys a little story and just kind of hang out. So let me know how your day is going. Mine so far is awesome. My parents came up. Uh, let me know in the chat if you watched my dad's video. I cr like cried laughing at that. It was so funny. Um, it's just, he's so weird. Like before he even came to our house, he made a point to drive to the beach to record that video. Had my mom, uh, record it for him. Just so it's dumb. Like it's just so dumb. Anyways. So that's what we're doing. But I have had a lot of people lately that ask like, you know, how do you make money? A lot of the same questions. What do you do? Like, how does it actually work? So I thought I would do a live and share that with you guys. And, um, yeah, we have like 50% off codes to start. So there's a lot of people interested, but they're like unsure of like what it is that we do. So I'm going to like tell you my little story. So we're going to hang out together. So please say hello in the comments. You guys say hi in the comments. It makes it so much easier to talk to people instead of feeling like I'm talking to myself, but I will talk to myself all day long if I have to. So here we go. Guys, my story started six years ago. So I'm going to tell you like why, like what, what kind of led me here. So six years ago, actually over six years ago, I guess it was like seven years ago, seven years ago, I was like a brand new mom. I had just had Mason. I was working full time. I was working, you know, working two jobs. Give me a red heart in the, like, give me a red heart in the chat if that's you, like, or you've done that before. It's like working a full-time job, working a part-time job, always working. That was me, but stayed broke. Like, like no money, like working all the time, never had time, never had money, just in this like cycle, like back and forth all the time. And I was in a lot of debt and, you know, I was making this joke on the call that I was just on. I was like, you know, the thing about debt is if you ignore it, it is compounding. Like it is not like death and taxes, debt, like those are the things we're not getting rid of. Like they are here. And I found myself at a, as a young mom in a very sc scary situation of being like almost six figures in debt, which is crazy. And it's, I feel like society, like, and you can drop, like, a number one in the chat if you agree with this, but society conditions us to believe that, like, that much debt is normal, and you kind of just, like, I just kind of justified it. I was like, oh, I'll just deal with it later. It's fine. Like, whatever. And it's crazy because it just doesn't go away. <laughs> like, it's there whenever you try to not deal with it. Like, you have a ton of debt. And so, I found myself in this position where I was like working jobs that I liked. I was doing good at them, but like I wasn't in a career. Like I didn't know what my career was going to be. I just had this baby. Mike has gone on the trains all the time. And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, this is not what I pictured happening. Like I did not picture this. So this is when I was like, okay, there obviously are people making money online. Like I was the skeptic. Okay. I was the skeptic. Like I was, I didn't want to believe it, whatever, but there's people making money online. There's 12 year olds making freaking millions of dollars on YouTube. So like, if you're in the mindset of you can't make money online, you're, I will tell you you're wrong, like hundred percent wrong. And so I watched all these people do this and I'm busting my butt at these two jobs. I'm working all the time. I've got somebody tell me when I can go to the bathroom, when I can eat, when I can do all these things. And I just was like, no, like I'm in so much debt. I'm not willing to do this anymore. What's up, Crystal? Um, I'm not willing to do this anymore. And so let me look for a way to make money. So I followed this lady that lived in like maybe where did she live? The interior, the Kootenays. I think it was the Kootenays, whatever. She lived a couple, like a little bit over from me. And I watched her, like she messaged me and she was like, Hey, do you want to do this business? And I was like, no, I work at TELUS. I serve at nights. Like I'm good. And then 
it's one, you know, I was like, it's one of those pyramid schemes, whatever. But then I watched her and I was like, no, this chick is like out for lunch with her kid on a Tuesday. This chick just bought a boat. Okay. This girl brought her husband home and I was like a little hater. Okay. I know there's some, there's little haters. There's a little haters everywhere. I was a little hater. I was like, what? I didn't understand how somebody could be working from their phone and I was busting my whatever at two different jobs all the time and I was broke. I just was, I didn't want to believe it. Like I was like, that's not right. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't, you know, no. And anyways, and so I watched, I watched, I watched, I watched. I kept getting broker and broker. Debt kept creeping up. It wasn't going away. Nothing was going away. So I just said, okay, you know what? Give me some information on what you do. And I started like literally three years after this lady joined, like messaged me. I literally, I, I said, okay, I'm going to like give this a shot. Now, what I didn't understand, especially back then is like the business model of what I do. Okay. So whether or not you realize it, you are affiliate marketing or word of mouth marketing for companies that you love all, like, like all the time, right? Like I would be that person that I feel like I've influenced my network into some things that I don't get paid for. Okay. Would you agree? You can put a one in the chat. If you know that you've done this, like you're like, Oh, I've ate at this restaurant. It was great. And then your friend goes there. What? Oh, I use this or, Oh, I bought this outfit or he, I love this store and your, your people shop there. I just said like, okay, you know what? I don't care what my friends and family think. Like people look at a business like this and they're like, well, my friends and family won't support me. So I just can't do it. I'm like, I don't give a shit about my friends and family. I am building this business on social media. You have to be like, I feel, I feel like I just had to realize like, listen, there's people making money online. There are more than there, there are literally 5 billion people on social media. There are 5 billion people on social media. I don't care if my mom doesn't want to buy my product. I didn't care if my friend from high school wasn't interested. That's not why I joined this business. But I realized, like, I feel like if you're entrepreneurial, if you're entrepreneurial, put a two in the chat. I was entrepreneurial enough to know, okay, there are people that are buying and consuming all day, every day online. There's a need for want people wanting to make money from home. Like I'm a mom. I don't know why the hell I'm working two jobs to stay broke. I'm going to like look into this. And I realized I couldn't be the last person that needed to look into this. So, you know, I, I started this business and I did not feel like I needed to like bug my friends and family to be successful. So Anyways, I joined. Okay. Now I want to explain to you the business model of what we do, because a lot of people are like confused by it. And like, I don't know, there's just a lot of misconceptions. And so I want you to think about, okay, these network marketing companies that you see, okay, you see a network marketing company, right? Let's like, right, like it works as a network marketing company, you can think about Tupperware, whatever. This really is just a genius business model. So you take a company that has a product, right? Let's compare it to another company that has a product or a brand. I like to compare it. Okay, let's say Nike. Okay, drop the word Nike in the chat if you've ever heard of Nike before. Okay, if you've ever seen the Just Do It, if you've heard of Nike, put it in the chat, say Nike below. Now, I realized that Nike as a company was spending so much money every single day, week, month, year to actually advertise to new people. Commercials, radio station ads, uh, flyers, email marketing, they were spending a lot of money to get exposure to people. Network marketing, okay, they take a company with a product or a brand and they put it into regular people like you and I to do word of mouth advertising. And if people sell the product, they cover everything. They're like, you don't need to ship it. We're going to ship it for you. You don't have to buy the product. We'll sit it out. Actually, we're going to make your website for you. Everything is plug and play. But if you can get the exposure, we're going to pay you for it. Like, this is what it comes down to. And so I just started to realize like, okay, you know, people start these things and then they do them in their small network and then they fail because their mom doesn't want to buy from them. And I said, I'm not even going to start there. I'm going to learn how to use social media and grow a business literally sales from my phone. That's what we did. So you guys, when I joined this business, I had a hundred Facebook friends. I didn't have a network like in drop. You can put a three in the chat. If that's something that holds you back. If you're like, I know I want to do this, but I don't actually like know enough people, you know, so I don't think I can be successful. That's what it was for me. But what I realized is if I can learn, you know, I believe that anything in life, like anything that requires a re result there is a system or a pattern to success in anything. There is an equation for success in anything, right? So like this plus this equals this. So what I realized is if I did things on social media, 
which, you know, like really, and without getting in like to a training, I realized if I posted, I realized if I add, I had new people in my network, you know, I realized that if I was talking to people, I would be able to have success in an industry like this. And so it's crazy because when I started, I was terrified to even grow my business in Canada because I was like, I don't want someone to see that I'm doing this, which is so dumb. I don't know why I would think like that. But like looking back, I'm, it's kind of dumb. But I started growing my business in Texas. I was like, okay, I have friends in Texas. Mike's like the cow- Mike likes the Cowboys. I'm going to grow my business in Texas. And so I started growing my network of people and doing what I just told you, figuring out what works and what doesn't work in Texas. And so I started this business and my goal, like I said, was just to make 500 bucks a month, 300 bucks a month, maybe a little bit extra, you know, be home with my son, take some nights off the restaurant, whatever. And you guys, I started to like do these things over and over. And I'll tell you my first month, okay, I made 30 bucks, right? And that's when everyone was like, you should quit. It's not worth it. Like that, see what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I told you, right? And I thought to myself, well, damn, I just put gas in my car. So I don't really care. Like, I don't, I'm not looking to make a million dollars, but I am looking to put gas in my car. So, you know, I remember just talking about it. And I remember being so like humbled and sharing my first paycheck and being like, I just put gas in my car. But slowly and surely what I realized without even meaning to was that, as I was sharing these little wins that I felt to be so insignificant, like, oh, I've just put gas in my car. Like, I will never forget. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have been around on my page long enough to remember this, but I remember by like year four in my business, I I had people say to me, like, the first time I started watching you was from this post. Like, it's the first thing that caught my attention. And it was a post of me leaving TELUS, went, going to Red Robin to serve, and I was, I went to the gas station and it was just like me filling out my gas and a little screenshot of my first paycheck and it had covered my gas. And I was just so grateful. I was like, oh my gosh, if this is all it ever did, like if it only ever put gas in my car and groceries on my table, like I'm here for this, I don't care what I have to do. Like that would be a huge benefit to my family. And that's really where it all started. And you guys, to give you some idea of like what this industry has done for us, like, you know, people make a joke out of it. Like I literally, like I, you, like you won't find anybody get fi- as fired up as me when somebody tries to mock this industry because I'm like, do you have any idea how much network marketing has completely changed everything for so many families like it's crazy to think that we went from being in debt almost six figures in debt working all the time to starting a little side hustle while I was busy while I was working which eventually led to us paying off you know a little bit of gas and groceries and then you know by month five I had replaced both my incomes like that's crazy the next five months are going to pass anyways I was took the time that I was scrolling on my phone and I just made it into income producing time and it's crazy to think that within five months Guys, I've never been back to work. Like, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's crazy. Like, I've never been back to work. That After that five months, I was like, okay, I would. why would I go to work to make this much money for a month, working all the time, to then pay for daycare for somebody else to raise my son, never being there for his moments, never being able to, like, be there. Like, it just broke my little heart. Like, it didn't make any sense to me. And... You know, it just, it's crazy how it progressed. Like, just never, ever in a million years thinking this would be the thing that allowed me to be home with my son. Like, I don't think that the money here is the most valuable asset. I believe it's the time. I believe that people are trading their time for things that do not actually, like, it's like, man, we have one life. Like, you're going to be spending all your time at that job you hate. So it's like, no, there are other options. And yes, it's work. And it's not like a walk in the park. But I was working so hard at all these jobs to like make no money, you know, and you hear people say, well, you don't know, pe- people don't make money in network marketing. Yeah, you're going to find a group of people in anything that you do that like aren't going to be successful. I don't know about you, but like, I'm not trying to take advice from those people. If I look in a room of 10 people and nine of them are telling me, oh, it doesn't work and it sucks and blah, 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 and this is why I quit. And then one person said, yeah, actually, I've retired my husband. I've made all this money. It's done this, this, and this for me. Uh, I'm going to follow that person. Like, you know what I mean? So I think it's not, I think it's natural for humans to like go towards that. But like, I, I needed one person to be on my timeline to say, dude, this is what I've done. And like, that gave me the belief to know I could do it. So, you know, not only did it take us from paying off all of our debt, which pff, never would have happened if I wasn't doing this, I would have been, I, I don't even know if I would still have my house. Like that's, you know, like, I don't even know that I would be there. Um, 
you know, to, to being home with my kids, like I would pay anything for the time. Like I would do anything to be there for my kids. Like, you know what I mean? So then for that to bring us home, you know, and then a year and a half later to bring Mike home from the railway, like to be able to make an income, like to replace an income that's over six figures from the railway, like, you know, it's crazy. And then to be able to like, you know, when the world was crazy, like, I'm sorry, I don't know what everyone's opinion on that was, but like, I wanted to get the hell out of whatever was going on a couple years ago. And so I know that's not everyone's choice, but like, that was our choice. And to be able to pick up and move because of that is a blessing. To be able to come back because of it is a blessing. And I still am very loud and sharing this because it's like, we're not special. Like, we're not we don't have what other people don't have. Like, in fact, I look at other people and I'm like, you're way more qualified to do this than I am. Like, for real. For real, actually. Like, sometimes it's actually an imposter syndrome. Because I'm, I, I mean, getting off this call and, like, hearing, like, like, I didn't join this to be a top leader. I didn't join this to make all this money. I didn't join this to, like, do, I joined this to, because I was in debt and I needed to make a little bit of extra money to breathe better. Right? And... I just think that a lot of people count themselves out or they think like I could never do it or it doesn't make like it's too good to be true. Like, no, it is work, but you have to understand that people are buying off the internet all the time. Like there's a need for any niche or market and health and wellness is never going out of style. Making money is never going out of style. We live in a digital era. Like people are making money from their phones and there's people out there that are struggling right now so bad. They're justifying paying, you know, paying $50 to get their nails done. But then they're like, I can't even afford my rent. And I'm like, why are you not starting a side hustle? Like, seriously, why are you not starting a side hustle? And again, you can listen to the people that say, well, it's impossible to make money. Okay, well, we've made almost $2 million. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when, don't you think we would have been like, if we were faking it this whole time, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I had to see somebody do it before I believed that I could do it. But I think you need to believe you can do it to go, you know? And so, you know, when I look at the world today, I'm like, okay, peppers are like $9. I I truly believe everybody needs a side hustle. I truly believe that single or even dual, you could put a number three in the chat if you agree, that it's, it's not working for people anymore. You should be able to leverage the device that you're paying $200 a month for to make money. Now, I'm going to talk about some like fears and objections that people have. And if you have a fear or objection, you can put it in the chat. But the biggest one is like, what are people going to think? That was my biggest. I was like, man, what are people going to say if I join this business? Are people going to make fun of me? Are people going to say this? Okay, you want to know my real opinion on that? Give me some red hearts if you're watching this on Facebook or on Instagram. Give me some red hearts. Like tap that screen double quick if you if you want to hear this. For real, If nobody's willing to pay my bills, I'm not taking business advice from you. Like, if you are going to judge me for the way that I make money when I'm sitting here struggling, wanting wanting to be home with my kid, pay my bills, right? Pay my bills. Pay my bills. I'll send you my e-transfer right now. Oh, you're not going to pay my... Okay, then sit down. Like, that... That's literally since I've started, you know... I'm obviously more confident about it now because we've been successful. But when I was making 30 bucks a month, I was like, sit down. I'm not trying to take advice from people that aren't paying my bills. Like, and here's the other thing. You don't have to work a business like this to convince people that don't want it to want it. Right? I'm not trying to sell to my friends and like, I'm not trying to like wheel and deal my friends. Like I had friends that were skeptical. I'm like, here's some coffee. Try it. You're going to love it. Like. You know, here, like, um, there's 8 billion people on the planet, man. Seriously, 5 billion of them are on social media. If people aren't interested in what you're doing, it doesn't matter. They don't have to do it. Do you know what I mean? But for them to have the audacity, like, you know what really used to piss me off is when people would say, you're actually posting too much on your page. It's annoying. I'm like, unfollow me then. Like, why do you think I'm here to, like, for you? Like, you think my page is for you? My page, like, you have my phone number. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to, like you can phone me. Like I'm not posting for you, but I knew that posting would find the people like Jackie Deering, like who saw a post and would be willing to do anything to make more money. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to sit here and convince Sally who's 
you know, the person that leaves all her Google star reviews are one star, like, you can't leave a positive review. I'm not trying to, I don't, we have nothing in common. Like, I'm not trying to be like you, okay? So that's number one. Number two, I don't have the money to start. That's a big thing. Like, people are like, I don't have the money to start. Okay, I'm going to say this like I said it to myself. And some people I know are going to be like, that's insensitive. But, well, this is my page, so I'm going to just say it. I got to the point where I realized uh, if I'm working 60 hours a week and I don't have $99 to spend on myself, I'm probably, plan A is probably not working anymore. I don't think that's normal. But again, people justify it. I justified having negative $500 in my bank account at any given time. I was like, that's just normal. Like people just struggle. No, no. We live in a world of like, man, there's so many ways you can make money. Like I just, you know, and again, this is going to piss some people off. I already know that. I've been in the valley. I've been, I've been there. So like, this is not to say like, when you're there, it sucks. And it's very like, it's, it's hard to stand up. And like, you have to commend somebody for even being willing to stand up because that shit is hard. Like I commend, like, I'll tell you this success never taught me anything. It's losing that teaches you, right? Give me a, give me a, write the word loser. No, don't. You'll get banned from Facebook. (laughs) Write the word lose in the chat. If you, uh, if you, if you agree, like, you, you learn in those seasons, you learn in the lose, you learn in the valley, you can, like, you know, um, so it's crazy, like, yeah, I don't know, sorry, I got distracted by my Facebook there, and plopped up, and then I lost my train of thought, like, that, that's, that's when I, that's when I learned, I didn't learn winning, I learned losing, and so you have to commend people that stand up from that, but also, I had to, I had to say to myself, like, what are you willing to settle for? Like, I'm not willing to settle and just like, oh, okay, well, times are tough, so I'm going to be broke. No, sorry, I'm not going to be broke. And I've been broke. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? I have been there. I've got the t-shirt. Man, I got five payday loans out at once one time. That sucked. Anybody, that, that should be illegal, okay? That should be illegal. Why in the hell am I borrowing $400 and paying back $700 times six? Like, absolutely not. But you, you, there's so much like this is why I just said on the training call that I that I was on there is so much more than the financial when it comes to doing a business like this like this literally for me this is not just like oh you've made money it's like no I've taught my kids to be resilient I have let my kids see me fall and fail but stand back up I am not gonna let my kids be like well it got hard so we quit we're just gonna struggle like what are you passing on to your children dude like get up and fight for yourself and I don't even care if it's in network marketing it's whatever you're going through. This could be your career. Get up and fight. Like, don't just accept it like, oh, it's a struggle. No. If you can think it, if you if you can look at somebody and say, wow, they've been successful at this, you have to believe that you can too. But it does take, sorry, I'm kind of like going off on a tangent. You know, when we came from being in so much debt to joining this company and then going to the top, like, it takes getting around a different group of people sometimes. It takes losing some of the old bullshit that you ha- hold on to that you, like, convince yourself that you're just, like, not good enough, Right. Or like, you can't do it. Like, man, success is so abundant. Money is abundant. Like, it's abundant. And so it's here, right? And so anyways, you know, this this is the industry. Like, I look back and, you know, being in this for six and a half years now, like, I can tell you this industry has changed our life. You know, it has changed our life financially, which I think is a big enough reason to get started. Uh, It's given us it's giving me confidence. Like if I look back at the person I was six years ago, like there is zero chance that there would have been the development to this level if I wasn't here. Um, the friendships I've made like that in my, that in itself will make me cry. I think I'm like, I always say, I think I get my period, but like, no, seriously, like I, the friendships dude, like drop it in the chat. Like, I don't know if I see some of the girls on the team here. Like, have you met somebody that like you love so much even if they're not on your team, like, you know, I can't imagine my life without this business. I really can't. I don't think, I don't, I would be terrified to know where I would be if I didn't join this business straight up. Like, and I know that sounds very like, woo, but it does like not only financially, where would my, where would I be with my kids? What moments would I have missed? Would I even be on the Island? I wouldn't have been in Mexico. Like I wouldn't, I would be in debt. My house would probably be in foreclosure. Like my house would be in foreclosure. I would probably be on a debt consolidation loan right now and I would be looking at a freaking cauliflower for $13 wondering how the hell I was going to ever have cauliflower again. Like, 
this is the reality right now. And I just feel like, no, you know what? Network marketing, it's not for everyone. It's not. It is not for everyone. But I will say, if you're somebody that's willing to work, it's it's work, dude. Like, you got to be consistent. Have you guys ever seen me, like, not post? No, like, I'm here. I'm I'm working, you know? You've got to be driven. You've got to know why you're working. You can't get distracted by small minds. You know what I mean? Like, when I hear people like, oh, you're in network marketing. I have a YouTube channel dedicated about how I didn't make any money in network marketing. I'm like, oh, I wonder why. I wonder why you didn't make any money in network marketing. Because your literal personality trait is to be an awful human being. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? If you're if you're driven, if you're, like, you know, forward thinking, like, you can do this. I look at... I look at people around me and I'm like, man, all these people are having success, all these different types of people, but it takes you starting. It takes you just being like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get going. I'm going to do something different. And so anyways, why I wanted to come on this live was because this month, each of our accounts, so I have an account and Mike has an account. We have 10 codes, which I've already used on my account. I kept up, I kept updating you guys. You saw it on my Instagram story. So my 10 codes are gone, okay, to offer the business for 50% off. Um, Mike's account has nine left. There's nine people that are going to get this business for 50% off to start. So to recap the prices and like how you start, it's $50, $49 US. And a hundred, no, sorry, regularly 129 Canadian. So it's 60, like five Canadian, whatever. Okay. So 49 US, 65 Canadian. Okay. That's going to get you started in the business. So you buy your kit only if I have the 50% off codes, you have to message me. That's going to give you, um, you know, two products. So like well over a hundred dollars worth of product for you to use. And then when you, when you order your kit, literally I onboard you. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to put you into the systems that I've created that teach you how to launch your business, like teach you what to do, start to finish, how to do, what to do every day. You work with me directly. I'll put you into a chat that I have with a bunch of other new girls that are just starting. And I just have it laid out for you. And if you're someone that's hungry and you're willing to do it, like you can make a killer doing this. You can make a killer doing this. And I know it's scary and I know there's so much fear, but like, here's what, like, I realized one day I'm like, man, I don't want to get to my life and wonder like, what if I did that? Like, you're never going to regret the things that you do. You're going to regret what you don't do. You're going to regret the time that you thought you had. Like, oh, I I just thought I had more time. Okay. Now your kid's 20 and you're like, how am I going to get you in college? Like it starts now, man. It literally starts now. So I just think like, you know, it's crazy. I just think we live in a society where, like, you don't have to sell the dream, dude. Like, peppers are $9. People need to make money. People want to be healthier. Like, people want to lose weight. Like, you just have to, have, like, if you have a brain, like a, like a business cell in your brain, like, you will know that there's an opportunity here. You know, there's a quote I love, and it says, the broke stay broke because they look at everything as a, as a scam and the rich get richer because they look at everything as opportunity. Who's in your ear? You got a bunch of broke people telling you to not go after your dreams because they're too scared to go after theirs. Yeah. Wrong table, wrong table. Get around the people that are like doing it, you know, because those are the people that are going to show you how to do it. So anyways, if you want to be shown how to do it, uh, the best way to get in contact with me is to message me. Love your lashes, Liz. Thank you. Uh, just message me and say, I want a code. There's nine left. I'm not holding them. And uh, I'm ready to run. There's some huge things coming uh, next month. And, like, you're not going to want to wait. So I'm excited. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And we will see you guys soon. Bye.